Okay, so uh, before we wrap up, I want to touch a little bit more on the timing aspect of it. So you mentioned pre-season, post-season uh, matters in terms of setting your expectations. So uh, tell us a little bit more about that. How do you factor that into your plans? Yeah, sure. Uh, in my opinion, this is like one of the most important things because a lot of like guys who do PPC, they don't actually understand that PPC is just a tool to get more sales and more profit at the end of the day. So we want to use that. Like we want to think about, okay, how do we like use, how do we leverage the most from PPC as a tool to market our brand and to grow it and make the most profit. So depending on the like uh, timing, we want to prepare for the season before the season starts. So for example, if, if in the niche, the season starts in November, we want to start preparing in the October because in November, in December, the traffic is going to be more expensive. Like clicks will be like double the price, right? And most sellers, they usually like just, you know, increase the bids during the season, right? Let's just increase the bids because that's what people do. But uh, if you do that, you're going to lose your margins. Like you're going to just eat all your profit with cost per clicks. So uh, it's a good thing to start increasing bids before the season. Mm -hmm. And why, why we want to do that? We want to occupy organic positions before the season starts. Mm -hmm. So it, it can be like uh, non-profitable, actually. It can be like, like negative in, in terms of cash flow right? Like before the season, but we will have the positions, maybe at number one, number two organic positions when the season starts. And when the season starts, we can keep making sales from organic positions. And everybody is like raising the beats and paying more. And we want to actually decrease the beats during that period. So it's very uh, like cool uh, to, to see that people uh, like pay more and you actually pay less during the season and you make all the money from organics. So it's it's cool to basically pick keywords that you think you will be ranking for, you will be converting and that are relevant to your specific product. You have to be sure that the keywords that you pick for ranking are the most, most relevant keywords to your brand. And when you're going to get first or second organic position, you will stay there right and during this season you just decrease the ppc and keep it on the like you know at the bottom the first page and your organic position is on the top and because your conversion rate is high you keep ranking all the season like it's possible to keep ranking uh, organic the entire season like three or four months and make the most money from that and spend as less ppc as possible so that's that's how you actually like make the most uh, profit from the season.